minus one addition strategy, otherwise known as adding nine. Students are gonna use their hundreds chart. It's a great strategy for a two-step quick movement for adding nine on the hundreds chart. Let's take a look. Today, we're working on addition facts, and the strategy we're gonna work on is called 10 minus one addition. <laughs> 10 minus one. Equals nine. Oh, brilliant. Today we're going to work on a strategy where we are going to learn how to add nine to a number, okay? And we're going to use the hundreds chart as a memory tool to help us with our strategy. We're going to use the hundreds chart today as our tool, but you're not always going to use the hundreds chart, right? So later, once you get the strategy down in your head, then you won't need the hundreds chart. You'll just do it in your head. Okay, let's kind of look at the hundreds chart and see if we see some patterns happening here. Okay, put your finger on three on the hundreds chart. Everybody's fingers on three. Now, if I move one jump down, it's 13. Good. Um, what did I add for to go from three to 13? What did we add? 10. 10. So three plus 10 is 13. Right? That's easy. You guys can add 10 more on the hundreds chart really quick, can't you? Because what movement is it? One down. It's one down. Now, we know that information, okay? Store that information in your head. Now we're going to use that to also do plus nines. Here are our cards, okay? We have two plus nine. All right? We are going to think of plus nine as a 10 minus one. Because what is 10 minus one? You told me earlier, 10 minus one is? Nine. Is nine. So 10 minus one also equals nine. So when I'm doing two plus nine, I could go two plus 10 minus one. Isn't that cool? Because what's 10 minus one? Nine. 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 Okay, let's check it and make sure. What is two plus nine? Well, if I used, if I used my strategy and I go two plus 10 minus one is 11. So let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I landed on 11. I started at two, I counted nine, I landed on 11. But I can do a quick little jump and just do 10 minus one and I only have to move my finger two places rather than moving my finger nine places all the way down, right? Isn't that faster? Isn't two jumps faster than nine jumps all the way down the hundreds chart? Let's see how that works again. Let's try another one. Ooh, what about this one? Six plus nine, right? Okay, where do we want to put our finger first on the hundreds chart? Six. Put it on six, right? Remember, think of nine as a 10 minus one. So 10, where are you at? 16. Oh, then we have the minus one. It's 15. Ah, so six plus nine is 15? Yeah. Did you land on 15? Did you land on 15? Did you land on 15? Pretty cool, huh? Why can we do plus 10 minus one? Because what's 10 minus one? Nine. 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 And what are we adding? Nine. nine. We're adding nine to the six. Let's do another one. Eight plus nine. Where'd you land? 17. Wow, just that quick, boom, boom. Y'all were just that quick. I'm very impressed. It's kind of easy. It's kind of easy, isn't it? Isn't that great? Isn't that great when we come up with a strategy that makes math easier for us? I have princess cards and I want to get those, but I hope they have them in princesses. <laughs> okay, I'll work on that. I'll make these cards for princess cards, okay. That's a good suggestion.